you have the fruits of God in your life, let's find out. This video I heard is about the fruits of God. All right? I got a list down here. I'm looking down at my laptop. So, y'all, bear with me on through this list. All right. Let's jump right into it. So, uh, God wants you to have uh, charity, a heart of charity. All right. You need to give. All right. God want you to give, all right? I'm talking about it don't got to be to the homeless all the time. Sometimes you can give a rich man something. Sometimes you can give a rich woman something. It's just giving all in general, all right? Do not be too attached to certain things, all right? I once, uh, the biggest thing I gave away before was a, a vehicle, but it was, it, I gave it away because I was led to give it away, all right? But this is one of the biggest things I ever gave away, all right? But throughout my journey, and this is before my walk, I, I always gave out money towards certain individuals and helped them out in their financial situations and stuff like that. So I always been a giver, all right? And I'm not too attached to money like that. I like money. I mess with money. I, I like what money can do. I'm just saying like that. But I, I'm not in love with money, all right? Uh, this is materialistic stuff. Like, all this stuff is materialistic, all right? Like, I buy my, myself certain stuff, but I'm not too attached to it like that, all right? Some people might think I am, and they get offended because I got on new shoes or something like that, but I'm really not attached to this stuff like that. It's just, it's a look because of, it's your image. Your image is everything, all right? Like, I already, my hair, have my hair and stuff like that. Like, this has been the 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 phase of me going through the stages of you're going to have to deny yourself, all right? God going to take you through stuff that you, you're you going to have to deny yourself because you probably been a person that's always known to be handsome or, or, or beautiful or pretty or something like that. So when you, when you God going to take you through some stages to, um, you could call it embarrassment. They even do it, uh, those type of rituals in, um, in, uh, a coat, like, uh, celebrities and stuff they go through humili humiliation rituals all right god gonna take you through those steps all right so that's why i said when you when you, like it's all right like you're gonna have embarrassing moments messing with god like being working for god you're gonna you're gonna have to go through those stages because you're gonna have to learn something you know that you have to learn all right and you probably never been through that kind of turmoil in your life all right but when you get through it and get over it you gon' cause you gonna get over it. everything got its time, all right. Uh once you get over it, it's gonna be plentiful, all right. But God do want you to give, all right. So you give, 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 all right. Number two, uh, self-control. God wants you to have self-control. And this is one part of this another reason why you're gonna go through humiliation. Because you're gonna have to learn how to have self-control, all right. In the worst situation, you still gotta control yourself. I don't care what they say, I don't care what they do alone, they ain't put your hand on you. I mean, they ain't put their hand on you. You don't you you don't have to worry about putting their life in danger, all right? Now I ain't telling you no fight, don't swing back or nothing like that. I wouldn't put that on your mind, all right? But uh, if somebody touch you, you're going to put their life in danger. It's, it's simple. It's, it's no question asked about that, all right? Because God is a fighter uh, himself, all right? God is a soldier. If you look at the book and read the book, God is a soldier. God of uh, one of them warriors, all right? He ain't dead. He, you might, get, you might get, get away with certain things, but God going to come back swinging. It's just that simple. So, uh, you need to have self-control. This is why God going to take you through a whole bunch of stuff financially, uh, just in life general, all right, just to see how your self-control is because I, uh, I seen a post, uh, from a family member, uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, and he said, um, uh, I'm, I'm back to my old self, um. He was like, I'm, I'm going back to my old self because y'all don't like the nice me. Y'all don't like when I'm being nice, all right? Now, that's the devil trying to control your mind, all right? And I, and I told myself, because I, I go through, like I said, I'm on his walk. So I go through certain stuff myself. But God wants you to have so much knowledge in your life. Like, you, when you start working for God, walking for God, and, and you not of this world, you in the world but not of the world, 
You're going to have to learn how to have a real self-control. You're going to have to know when you're really going through spiritual warfare because spiritual warfare is a part of working for God. A lot of people don't even know what spiritual warfare is to this day. I didn't even know what spiritual warfare was because uh, I just thought stuff was happening. I was like, dang, why why they come doing this? Why this happening? What? This spiritual warfare, this because you working for God. You don't even know this. Like, you know, a lot of people don't know that because they not working for God. That's why they didn't have an experience, spiritual warfare. They might know God, but they don't work for God. Like, they not, they just in her. Like, you know how you got on the movie, you got people in the background. This will really go on in life, everyday life. People really just in the background. They just filling in in certain spots, doing certain things, working in certain jobs and working in certain places, just moving around. They just going by their everyday life. These people not conscious whatsoever. They they living in a subconscious world in the subconscious life. All right, but you conscious, so you you know what's going on in the world. Now you might not have all the knowledge and stuff like that because you're gonna work for God. You're gonna be forever a student. All right, you're gonna be a forever a student, and then you're gonna end up after you learn so much. You're gonna be a teacher. You're gonna become like what I am right now. When God told me I supposed to be a teacher, I was denying it. You know what I mean? I didn't deny it like that, but I denied it. I was like, God, how can I be a teacher? Look how I talk. Look how I approach, like, every situation. Like, I don't know. I don't know. You, you know, I don't know, God. But God was like, nah, I got you. So I was like, okay. I looked in the mirror, and I told God, I was like, hey, so if you want me to be a teacher, teach me. Show me what I got to do. And I started reading books. And remind you, I will never, ever, ever in my life was a person that loved to read. I never loved to read, ever. But now I love to read, all right? I read all, all the time. I learn all the time. It is going to take up a ton of your time learning this new stuff, all right? Learning this new knowledge, all right? So I done went from learning stuff about the uh the the celebrities and because that's probably be the first stuff you're going to tap into the celebrities, the uh, horoscopes, the you name it. I've done it. I've been in all of it, all right? And then you're going to end up having, like, I had to learn the Bible. So the thing is about the Bible, me and the Bible, I started reading it, but I didn't read it fully, all right? I ain't get deep, deep, deep into it, all right? I even got a Bible scripture on my own, John 13, 7. It say, now you do not realize what I'm doing, but later on you understand. John 13, 7. All right? So, I didn't, because the only reason I got that Bible script is because at that time I was reading the Bible, but I didn't, that's how I felt at the time. You know what I mean? I looked through the Bible and looked through a lot of little scriptures and stuff. I was like, nah, this what I feel like. This what I want on me because I was like, this is something that I don't, don't want to get something on me that I don't really resonate with. So that's what I resonated with. And this happened in 2014 when I got this scripture, all right? I wasn't even there yet. I was still out there in the street. But like I said, you going to have to, and, and I didn't know what God was doing. God was just slowly preparing me for, hey, you're going to end up by yourself. You're going to end up doing having a whole nother different path because I got something for you. Like, and, and when I woke up and stuff like that, God told me to talk to me. I finally heard God's voice talk to me like, hey, I got something else for you. You know what I mean? And, and, and it, scared, it scared me. I ain't gonna lie, it scared me. But I accepted it. And then now I'm by myself. But I'm, you know, I'm by myself, but not by myself. You know what I mean? But I still got contact with certain people. But I just don't hang with them like that. You know what I mean? Because this is not my lifestyle. This day lifestyle. I got my own lifestyle because I. you got to realize, like I said, I ain't nobody. If you want to know a person just, just like me, you grew up in the hood. You grew up not having nothing. Your mom ain't got nothing. Your dad ain't got nothing. You look at your family. They ain't really got nothing. Man, you can you ain't got time to be playing with nobody gossiping and running your mouth and talking about this and that and worry about what she doing, he doing, they doing. Man, ain't nobody leaving me nothing. Ain't nobody leaving you nothing. Man, focus on your craft. Focus on what you got going on in this life. You got to have self-control. You hear me? You going to have to let them folk go do what they doing because they, they, all this stuff right there going to be there. They going to be forever doing what they doing. Then you got to understand. You could be like for my failure, right? My my experience, my thing was I believed in other people's goals before they believed in them. I actually pushed people towards their goals and slowed me down on my goals 
on what I wanted to do. Because I knew what I wanted to do was going to take me some time. For me to get on here and talk to y'all like I'm doing, it's going to take me some time, all right? It, it wasn't going to be easy. I knew that, all right? And I had realized as a uh, at a younger age, like I said, I say when I was around the time, about 2014 and stuff, so, I realized the people I was around, they always get stuff that come to them easy. And I had to, I had to think like, dang, why I always got to work for mine, though? It's like them folk money just fall in their hand. Certain stuff just fall in their hand. I got to work for mine. If I want a car, I got to work for it. If I want to stay somewhere, I got to work for it. They just call somebody up, hey, they throwing to them, get to them, or, or they got somebody already in in position to put them in position. I don't got all that. I always had the, like, the hard way, the, the rough way. And people look at me and act like they situation way worse than mine. I'm knowing mine way worse. You know what I mean? So, like I said, God going to take you through this self-control path too. You going to have to control yourself in a lot of situations like real talk. When you figure that out, control yourself. Like don't 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 get involved in certain situations like at the at the workhouse, at, at home and sometimes you got to be quiet. You just got to eat it. it. It's cool. It's all right. God got you. I'm trying to tell you, like, God got you. So, the third thing is patience. You're going to have to have patience. Working for God, you're going to have to have patience. It, it took the story of Jesus. I think he started uh, being, uh, like, a mentor to people until he got, like, in his 30s. He started at 15, I think. Yeah, somebody correct me because, like I said, I ain't know the, the Bible fully, 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 fully. But, like I said, I know that part right there, though. He It took him a long time. It took him, like, half his life or something like that. But that that's how you know God going to take you through college. God going to take you through college. You're going to be a forever student. So to everybody else that's around you, that know of you, it's gonna, they going to look at the story like, man, it's taking them forever to get where they at. You know what I mean? It's taking them, like, they, they did this, did this, ain't work, ain't work. Probably because God don't want to, to prosper right then. Like, it ain't the time. But for sure, no, those same people going to come back around after you. When God give that breakthrough, because it's going to be crazy. It's going to be wild. Ain't nobody going to really believe it. They're going to be mind-boggling. You might be like, dying is crazy. Everything ain't happening. Everything ain't falling for me right now. It's, it's going in, in the right path. When it happened, that's when they're going to try to jump on the bandwagon. Like, I believed you. I knew it. All that. The whole time, no folding. Then gave up on you, stop clapping for you, stop talking to you, stop cheering for you, and all that. So you remembered it. Like I said, ain't nobody got the same path like you got. All right, they got somebody saving money for them, or got some put up in them a house or uh 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 land or some. Man, you ain't got none of it. Man, don't worry about what they talking about. They ain't talking about nothing. Have patience with your gift, and when God give your gift, and you know what your gift is. Have patience with it and keep on trying. Keep trying no matter what's going on. Just keep trying. I'm telling you, Mr. Elevation, tell you keep trying. But, um, and also, uh, the, uh, the fourth thing is kindness. God wants you to have kindness, all right? Be kind to certain people. Like, allow your, uh, and I know this is tough to do. Allow your kindness to, allow, allow yourself to kill them with kindness, all right? And uh, I had to learn this with my family members, all right, because uh, on my family, like my brother, my sister, uh, you know, sometimes people do evil things. They can be your family. They do it to you, all right? Don't be deceived. This is in the Bible, too. Like, for next two times, what he going through right now? If y'all know for next two times and his brother. Now, I wouldn't let nobody beat up my brother, but at the same time, when I had to hear the both sides of the story, his brother just really hating on him. It's simple. It's, it's even in the Bible. The dude, when when dude killed his brother because he was hating on him, it just, it just, it is what it is. Like they said in your own household. When And that's when they mean in, a, in your own household, you will get that hate. You know what I mean? Like I said, I, I ain't nobody even told for this two times that he don't understand really why his own brother would do that to him. He don't, he don't get it. Now, I ain't saying the Bible all the way correct. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is this is an old story. This is an old story. Before you was born, niggas been doing it. 
Your family been hating on you. You just so deceived because they your family member. You think that shit ain't possible. That shit real. They hate. Yeah. You gonna have to eat that though. And you gonna have to learn how to move on. You gonna have to learn how to kill them with kindness. That what finesse who time gotta do kill them with kindness. Just leave them alone. And I'll still send him money if I was him. Just to, just cause I know he ain't got it. I know he messed up. I just gotta eat that though. That's something I gotta live with. I ain't gotta gotta live with it, but you know what I mean? If I'm here, I'm, hey, I still love you, brother. Stay over there though. I'll come see you when I come see you cause you with this stuff. I ain't, I ain't with all that, man. Stay over there. It's in the Bible, like I told you. Kill the folk kind. Uh, faithfulness. God gonna want you to be faithful, alright? And, and, uh, and like, really, I know this tough for you to do. You gonna have to learn how to be faithfulness. And and, and a, a, a big reason on how you can be faithful, stop jacking off. Stop playing with yourself. Stop playing with these toys. The, 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 your sexual energy, you gonna have to learn how to hold your sexual energy in some type of way because you gonna need that detox. That is a detox. Alright? You gonna need it. I took it myself like I said, that is a detox. If you've been a victim of masturbation and, and, and playing with yourself, that is a detox, all right? I understand it, why y'all think porn free. Why y'all think it's on your phone for free? Because they know this, they're slowing down your, your creative energy, all right? You got to understand this is how you create a baby with your sexual energy. So if you hold that energy, God going to allow that energy to go somewhere else where it's supposed to go towards your creativity. That's why they want you to be Sullivan. It's even in the Bible, too. They want you to be Sullivan and, and see you marry and all that because you, you have to have your foundation. Your foundation got to be strong and solid. All right? This is the main reason why. So you got to be uh faithfulness. You got to have faithfulness and faithfulness towards your goals and and everything else, all right? And if you lose faith in this, just know that it's witchcraft. It's witchcraft, all right? Uh, goodness. God wants you to be goodness. I mean, have goodness, all right? You want to, you need to be good. Just be good. And, and what I mean by being good, God wants you to be good even when nobody ain't looking. When nobody ain't looking, you still need to be a good one. You still need to be somebody that's positive, all right? You got to remind yourself, God watching you, God looking at you at all times. So, most high watching you, you need to be good at all times, even when nobody else ain't looking, all right? It's going to be times where you think you can get away with certain things, my God sends you. That energy sends you. Like, even even Nipsey Hussle said, R.I.P. that man. Man, the energy sends you. You might got away on, on, on the camera, from the camera and everything, but God saw you. This stuff going to come back on you. For sure, for sure. Uh, where we at? We on number seven. Joy. God wants you to have joy. All right? Joy is going to come into your life, all right? If you stay faithful and believe in what God got for you and believe in God, believe in the most high, your, your joy going to come, all right? Joy is going to happen, all right? And um, number nine is peace. God wants you to have peace, all right? You're going to have joy and peace. Like, it's going to come. God said when he's going when he give you that, that if you buy by the rules, if you buy by what God tell you in, 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 in these instructions, because the Bible is instructions, all right? Like I said, you ain't got to believe the Bible all the way truthfully, but it's, certain, it's a lie in every truth. That's the thing about the situation. It's a lie in every truth, all right? It's truth to every lie. I'm going to say it like that. And, uh, yeah, the joy and the peace is going to come. It's going to be plentiful, all right? It's not going to be like a little bitty thing. When God released that floodgate, it's going to be a lot of it. It's going to be so much you probably have to have somebody else hold something for you. I'm just being real with you. You just got to believe, all right? Uh, uh, it's going to be a beautiful harvest. You know what I mean? You're going to have a beautiful harvest. And, uh, yeah, did I go over everything? Right. I went over everything. Yeah. Like I said, let me run down to y'all again. Charity, give away something. Self-control. Have self-control. Have patience. Be kind. Faithfulness. Have faithfulness. Be uh good at and be good. Uh have your your joy gonna come and your peace gonna come at the end of the day. Like I said, if this video helped you out, I'm nine oh one elevation TV here with Coke Right here we elevate, aka God Son the Messenger. 
And if y'all like this video, y'all love my content. I appreciate y'all. If you watch this video all the way through, I appreciate you. And I'm um, thankful for you. And comment down below. Let me know if this video helped you out. Let me know if y'all want to see more of my content. Uh, check out some of my other videos. Check out my playlist. I will see y'all next time. Peace.